the public affairs officer for the Dallas division, and we're out here together with Colleyville PIO, so you know how to get in touch with us if there are any questions after the fact. I'll turn it over to Chief Miller. Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's been a long day. Thank you guys for coming out and covering this. My name is Michael Miller. I'm the chief of police here in Colleyville, Texas. I'm going to give you just some uh, a, an update on what happened today. We've been out here all day. Uh, this morning at about 1041, we received a 911 call uh, regarding a disturbance at uh, the 6100 block of Pleasant Run, which is Congregation Beth Israel. It's our local Jewish synagogue. At that time, uh, they were having services, and those services were being broadcast uh, across Facebook and uh, across Zoom. And we began to get information that a gunman had entered the uh, synagogue and taken uh, four individuals hostage. At that time, uh, patrol resources responded to the area. Uh, we called out our SWAT team, our North Tarrant Regional SWAT team, who responded. We set up a perimeter, and we began to evacuate the houses that were in the local area. Um, we really appreciate all of the people who uh, were, were uh, inconvenienced by uh, us asking them to stay away from the area, but it was important for their safety. Uh, at, at some point in time, uh, immediately after that, uh, we received some backup support from uh, Northwestern Hills SWAT team. I immediately, uh, once we heard uh, there was a hostage situation, I called the FBI. Um, FBI, uh, Special Agent Char Charge Matt, Matt DeSarno came out uh, immediately. FBI, uh, ATF, HSI, uh, Texas Department of Public Safety, and all of our local uh, partners all responded as well. We've had nothing but phenomenal support. Uh, from our state and local law enforcement and federal partners. At some point in time during the, uh, the, the times we were negotiating with the subject uh, for a period of time all day, uh, constant communication with him, he did release one hostage in the middle of the uh, incident. That hostage was not harmed and he was, uh, he was, he's doing well now. Uh, the, uh, the FBI called out uh, the hostage rescue team, which is an elite uh, hostage rescue force out of Quantico, Virginia. They, they uh, immediately when uh, the, the F SAC called, they got on a plane and flew out here. I think they brought 60 or 70 people uh, from Washington, D.C. To, uh, to come and help with the situation. Uh, sometime around 9 p.m. today, uh, this evening, the HRT, the hostage rescue team, breached uh, the, um, the synagogue. Uh, they rescued the three hostages and uh, the, the subject is deceased. Um, I'd like to think uh, that this is a success due to the partnerships that we have with our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners. It's, a, it's been an incredible uh, operation. We've had uh, at least 200 law enforcement uh, personnel here uh, pretty much all day today. We couldn't have done it without them and we, we thank them. Uh, we thank the community as well. I'm going to turn it over to SAC DeSarno, who's going to talk a little bit about um, uh, more about the incident specifically, and then we'll be here to take any questions you may have. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief Miller. Again, my name is Matt DeSarno. I'm the special agent in charge of FBI Dallas, and I, I'm flanked today by uh, my federal partners from ATF, HSI, uh, DHS headquarters, Texas DPS. And Colleyville Police Department. So today's uh, today's result, which was four safe hostages and the situation resolved, was really uh, was really a result of, of a, a long, long day of hard work by nearly 200 law enforcement officers from across this region, local officers from across this region. As the chief mentioned, North Richland Hills Trophy Club, Colleyville, obviously, uh, the FBI, ATF, HSI, and Texas DPS, who you see all over this town today. Uh, I'd like to highlight a couple things. You know, we used uh, the, the North Tarrant Regional SWAT team, who who started uh, started the uh, engagement here in the morning, transitioned to the Dallas FBI SWAT team, and then ultimately to the hostage rescue team and the Dallas FBI SWAT team holding the perimeter. That, as Chief Miller said, uh, the FBI's hostage rescue team I consider one of the crown jewels of our organization. Their their mission is to conduct deliberate hostage rescues when necessary. In this in this case. Uh, we had a necessity for that, and they were successful. Very proud of them. I'm also extremely proud of the team of negotiators, FBI agents, and local police officers who worked all day long engaging this subject and likely saved the lives of the subjects just through their engagement. 
it's very likely this situation would have ended very badly early on in the day had we not had professional, consistent negotiation with the subject. Uh, I do not have any information right now that indicates that this is part of any kind of ongoing threat. We obviously are investigating. We'll continue to investigate uh, the, sh the hostage taker. We'll continue to investigate his contacts. Our investigation will have global reach. We have been in contact already with multiple FBI legats to include Tel Aviv and London. Uh, we've been working closely with Secure Community Network and the Jewish Federation, and uh, I want to continue to do that, and we will continue to do that uh, throughout the country. Uh, we, we, we do believe from our engagement with this subject that he was singularly focused on one issue uh, and it was not specifically related to the Jewish community, uh, but we're continuing to work to find motive and, and we will continue on that path. In terms of the resolution of the incident, uh, the, the hostage taker is deceased. Uh, we will conduct an independent investigation. My evidence response team will be here to process the scene and a team from Washington will be here to conduct an independent investigation of the shooting incident. <laughs> Uh, and, and that's the way we handle those things uh, through our normal uh, standard operating procedure. Uh, I, I will warn you before we take questions that uh, you may be frustrated at my inability to answer a whole lot of questions right now because of the, uh, the ongoing investigation and the shooting incident that occurred, but, and I specifically will not answer specific questions about the subject. There's a lot of information out there already about the subject and, and uh, we really don't, don't want to uh, jeopardize any potential investigation or any investigative leads into uh, his motives or his potential associates. So uh, we will take questions at this time, um, is, if anybody has any. Have you identified the suspect? Can you talk about why they decided to go in when they did? Did you just see an opportunity or was he about to act, do you think? Or? I'll answer the first question. The we, have, we have identified the subject, but we were not prepared to release his identity or confirm his identity at this time. Sorry, sir, question? I was just asking, uh, do you know why the HRT decided to go in when they did? Did they just see an opportunity or did they sense that something was about to happen that he was supposed to, about to act possibly? You know, we, that'll all be part of this uh, uh, this uh, shooting review investigation, but uh, I can tell you that there was a deliberate decision-making process that I participated in and that the HRT command structure participated in and, uh, and, and made entry. Yes, what, what, what can you tell us about his demands? Him? Sir? What weapons did the suspect claim he had on him? What weapons did he possibly find? Were there any explosives? Uh, I'm going to leave all that. To, there, a lot of it was it was out on that Facebook live stream. Uh, what what was said on that, but I'm not going to add any specific information to that. Can, can you, you confirm tell us what was said on the live stream? Well, what was said on the live stream, I can confirm that it was said on the live stream, but I, I can't confirm that the investigation at this point has has uh, has has given it validity at this point. Can you give yeah. us some insight? You talk about the the work that the negotiators did throughout the course of the day. Can you? kind of paint a picture of what that was like was it constant communication throughout the entire day or were there ups and downs of so it was it was uh, it, uh the negotiation team uh had a had a high frequency and and duration of contact with him uh there were times when it when it stopped for periods of time uh and and like many hostage situations uh those uh, the, the relationship between the negotiators and the, and the hostage taker kind of ebbed and flowed a little bit and sometimes got intense. But th these negotiators, I, I'm telling you, I, I am so proud of them. Unbelievable work. Really incredible work for, for 10 hours. Can Unbelievable. Can you tell us about, about, the, about the four people that were rescued, how they are right now? Yes, the four, absolutely. The four people who were rescued are, are not in need of medical attention, are with FBI agents right now, will be reunited with their family, unharmed. He did not. He did not harm them in any way. Okay, that was right on my part. What can you tell us about his demands? Uh, the, other than what you heard uh, uh, on the live stream, I'm not ready to add any more uh, any more about the demands. That they were specifically focused on on one issue that was not r specifically uh, threatening to the Jewish community. In, in, that was not the specific uh, demand. Where the hostages are now? No, I, I can't talk about that. Did, did he really have explosive devices? I, I'm not. I'm not prepared to, to talk about that. One more, more question. Sort of FBI watch list, and does he have any ties to this area? Uh, we again. We that's all part of our ongoing investigation, and that will uh, that will come out uh, as we move through the investigation. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Chief, if I can. Uh, uh, you are a law enforcement professional, but you are a member of this community and somebody who cares about this congregation. Just talk to me about today as a human being and what it's been like to watch this play out in your own backyard. Uh, well, Colleyville is a, 
one of the safest cities in Texas and uh, these are something this is something that you don't ever expect to have in your own city uh, the rabbi is a personal friend of mine um, we, we, he's a he's a close uh, friend of mine and uh, and so obviously it's very personal um, as he was uh, it's been put out on on the in the media that he was one of the uh, hostages that was uh, that was uh, involved in this um, yeah it's it's uh, extremely personal but you know I I see lots of hope and um, what we saw was a was a crisis here but there's lots of hope um, and how the community came together. I, I've received uh, calls from uh, my colleagues across the nation. I've received calls from uh, from people that I haven't dealt with in uh, in many years across lots of uh, my career. Uh, this community, other churches uh, have all reached out. Food has been brought. Um, our people have been cared for. And so, uh, you know, lots of people pray in today. Uh, I'm a uh, Christian. I'm a believer. I, uh, I uh, activated that prayer network, uh, and uh, we're thankful that this came to a very positive resolution. How were the hostages treated throughout the process? I'm not going to get into that at this point in time. Were they restrained in any way? Yeah. Any other questions? Yes, Chief, was the hostage taker shot, or was he shot by himself or law enforcement? Yeah, um, I think that's still part of the ongoing investigation. It's still a, an active crime scene. So while the situation has been resolved, uh, evidence response team from the FBI is going to be coming in and going to be processing that. Bomb techs are clearing the uh, the scene as well. So I don't have a lot of information about uh, about that at this point. Were all of the hostages adults? Yes, all the hostages were adults. Could you give us the age? I don't have the ages of the hostages at this time. Were there any synagogue members who were inside or were able to get out when it first happened, or was everyone that was held hostage the only people that were in the building at the time? Uh, it's unknown at this time. The evacuees are back at home now? Uh, no, they're being interviewed by the FBI at this point. Thank you very much. say about why he took hostages at this synagogue specifically? No, we don't have any information about why, why uh, this particular location, why this synagogue. You Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Have you talked to your friend? Thank you. Thank you. Good job, guys.